Hi, I'm Marwan from My Dubai My City. In this episode of Cameras on Wheels, I'm going to show you how to use a snatch block and a worn winch, of course. In some moments, I'll just show you the main items you need in order to use a snatch block. Please, follow me. Ideally, when using a snatch block, you need a shackle, you need the snatch block itself, of course, and then you need a worn winch. A lot of people should be asking why to use a snatch block. Well, the answer is, in many cases, people with small Jeeps, like Wrangler TJ, won't install a bigger winch than 8,000 pounds. And what happens if another car is stuck in deep mud or in even harsher terrain? The snatch block will allow you to double the pulling force of your winch. Definitely, the pulling speed will be divided into two. But you can still recover a heavy car that is heavily stuck. Let me show you how to use it. It's very simple steps. To start with, disengage the clutch and pull the wire rope to the other car. At this stage, start by opening the snatch block. Then, insert the wire rope into the snatch block. Once it's pretty secured, just close the snatch block and make sure that everything's okay. A heavy duty shackle connected to the snatch block and of course, connected to the vehicle. At this point, the snatch block is well connected to the Ford. I need to put this onto my car and it will ready, we'll be ready to pull. This is the final step. We've hooked the winch back to my vehicle. We've engaged the clutch and we've put weights on the rope. That's just for safety. We are ready to pull. And that's it guys. How to use a snatch block and a worn winch. Thank you for watching us. We'll see you next week.